Hey, hey everybody, it's Madge here, and I am super excited to bring to you a fun DIY tutorial for your Valentine. Now what we're making today is some super sweet wine glasses, and what you're going to need is just very simple. You're going to need some bling from the Buckle Boutique, and I am using the red, and then I'm also using the pink that was just released at CHA by the fabulous, by the fabulous Marissa Poloco. And I cannot even wait. So you guys, very simple. What I did is I used my cutter and I cut a four inch strip of the red bling. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set my cutter aside. This is some things that I love about this bling, you guys, is you can use scissors, you can use any die cutting um, machine that you have. You can actually use a cuddle bug, a vagabond, a Sizzix, anything like that. Now what I did is you're gonna want to flip over your bling and you're going to want to put it on your Cricut mat or any cutting um, mat that you may have. You are going to just place it face down on the mat. That's very important because you want to make sure that the bling cuts all the way through. Now what I'm going to do is I'm loading it into my Cricut and I'm going to load that now. Let's see, actually, there we go kind of got stuck there. We're going to load it there. Now on my settings, I have it on maximum pressure and I am cutting a three inch heart out of the George and Basic Shapes um, cartridge. And I'm also going to hit the shift button and I'm going to do the taller heart um, because I really like that heart. I'm also going to use the real dial size so it makes it an actual three inches. I'm also going to put it on multi-cut because I want it to cut two times through to make sure that I get a nice, crisp, clean cut. So we're gonna go ahead and use the cutter and cut out our heart. Now while that is cutting, I just wanna go ahead and share with you one that I have already made. I made one in pink and I'm making this for uh, me and my sweetheart for Valentine's Day. I just did a super fun heart here and then I took some bling and wrapped it around the base here, which I thought was super fun and super yummy. I love bling. You guys, this bling you can put on everything. It is self-adhesive and it works amazing and I cannot wait to use the rest of the bling that I got while I was at CHA. Now, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's a very crisp cut um, cutout there that the Cricut did, okay? And so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is now I'm gonna peel off the bling and I'm just gonna pop it out. And you can see it pops out super easy. Um, there we go. Super easy, I just have to get it started there. That's why you wanna make sure that you do the multi-cut is because you wanna make sure that when it comes out that the bling is nice and cut um, beautifully, okay? And there we go, a beautiful heart, easy peasy, okay? So now I'm gonna set that to the side and I am going to take my wine glass and it actually still has a little bit of dust on it because I pulled these out of my stash here and I'm just gonna wipe it down real quick to make sure I get all the grime and goo off of my wine glass. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my heart and I am going to tear off the protective backing on the back to expose, to expose the glue, okay? Now sometimes these nails are awesome and sometimes these dang nails get in the way. There we go. So I'm peeling off the backing and it's as easy as that. One, two, three. Okay, and you guys can see it sticks very, very good. Okay, I can't even pull it away. It's right there on my thumb. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tip it on its side and I am going to stick it down, you guys. It's that simple, just like you would do a sticker or vinyl or something like that. And then you just wanna press until you get all of your little bubbles out. Okay, and there's my heart. My heart is now on my wine glass. It's a little ski wampus because I was upside down. And so, you know, I'm gonna show you what you also can do about this. And, um, you know, it makes it great because you can reposition it if you need to. 
and it will still have the same effect. It'll still be nice and glittery and sparkly, and it will still adhere just as good as it did the time before. Now, I would not recommend putting this type of wine glass in your dishwasher. I would hand wash only because you want to keep the bling on. There we go, that looks better. So now it's just still a little on its side and it looks great. The next thing that we're gonna do is I'm going to take my scissors and I am just going to cut a nice strip of bling with my scissors. Now I'm actually cutting the heart off there and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut I believe it was a two and a half by one and three quarters square. And I apologize for the dog barking, you guys. Sometimes my dogs love to bark and my little pug is a little old, so I have to apologize for him barking in the background. So there, you saw how easy it cut. There's my strip. And now I'm just gonna turn it back over and I am going to cut it at two and a half. Okay, very simple, very easy. And I'm gonna pull off my backing here. You guys, I have to say I love, again, love the Buckle Boutique's fabulous bling sheets. They are amazing. And you guys, you can bling anything, okay? And if you're like me, everybody loves a little bit of bling, right? And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna put it right here in the center, if you can see me doing that. Sorry, let's see, right like that. And place it there, and I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it around. And there we have another fabulous, fabulous bling wine glass. Super simple, super easy, and a fabulous, fabulous DIY. Now you guys, you can sit and form it and make sure that you form it, um, form it just right around the base of the wine glass to make sure that it adheres. So I have this one here, which I absolutely love the red. What a beautiful thing for my Valentine. And then I also have the pink here, side by side. Aren't they just gorgeous? Beautiful, but yet simple and gets the job done. I can't wait to go and get a nice bottle of wine for my sweet hubby for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful love day, and I will talk to you soon. Loves, loves, Madge.